guys, it's me again, Mark Holland, and today I'm going to be doing something that originally I didn't think I was going to be doing. When I made the Halloween video, I talked about five horror films that I would be watching. To my chagrin, I found out that uh, certain people here wanted me to do a continuation of that, but for each rating. Which is kind of sad, but I'll save my tears for the pillow tonight. Anyways, we're going to be talking about G-rated horror, which... I'm surprised it's a thing. But uh, the thing with these films is they're not more so horror as they're just films that were t scary but were aimed for little kids. So, um, yeah. Let's uh, see if you remember any of these films or if you've never heard of these films before. Without further ado, let's begin. So coming in at number five, we have one of my personal favorites, The Ghost of Mr. Chicken, released in 1966, starring my favorite actor, Don Knotts. Get pictures of the body, Luther. <laughs> Left, right, profile, head on. Fine, fine. You actually saw the murder weapon, Luther? Yeah, two before. I got a picture of it. Two before? Yeah, two before. What's up? Don't bother us now, Calver. We got a murder on our head. Calver! Calver! What are you doing here? You're dead! The film is about a local newspaper editor who takes a dare to go into a haunted house to prove he's not a chicken, hence the title. It's a very fun film and it's been quoted a lot at my house so it kind of has a special place in my heart. So, attaboy Luther. No one's going to know that. I'm proud to be here today. Attaboy Luther! <laughs> Number four, we have Pinocchio, released in 1940. Hey, you laugh like a donkey. <laughs> Did that come out of me? Oh. Huh? What the? What's going on? Crossed. Help! Help! Somebody help! I've been framed! Help! Please! You gotta help me! Oh, be a pal! Call that beetle! Call anybody! Mama! I actually do not know any of the actors in this film, but this film is on this list for one reason only. The donkey scene which I'm not going to go into much detail as I already added a clip, but basically kids turn into donkeys while they scream for their mother. It's terrifying, especially if you're a young kid and seeing that for the very first time, but through the years we've seen much worse things, including the fact that Paw Patrol exists, so <laughs> I'd say this is kind of the bare minimum. Coming number three, we have one of my favorite cartoons, The Secret of Nim, released in 1982. In the beginning, we were ordinary street rats, stealing our daily bread and living off the efforts of man's work. We were captured, put in cages, and sent to a place called Nim. There were many animals there in cages. They were put through the most unspeakable tortures to satisfy some scientific curiosity. Often at night, I would hear them crying out in anguish. Twenty rats and eleven mice were given injections.
we had become intelligent. Now this stars uh, one of um, people's most well-known actors for the fact that his son would later be in The Wizard of Waverly Place, Dom DeLuis. But the film is about a mother rat named Miss Brisby who goes on an epic quest to save her son who has pneumonia. It's a very cute film that talks about a, a mother's love and how she would do anything to protect her young. But there's a specific scene that deals with experimentation that um, would be terrifying for a little kid to see for the first time, so it makes sense that this film's on that list. Number two, we have The Raven, released in 1963. Yes, this is Halloween, so I had to include my boy Vincent Price. Couldn't stop me. <laughs> Vincent Price in this film, we have Boris Karloff, who we all know as the beautiful Frankenstein. But at the same time, it features a very young looking Jack Nicholson, if you remember from The Shining. Yes, that's him. Now, this film is based on the poem by Edgar Allan Poe, and although it's not really a 100% Edgar Allan Poe film, as it's more so sort of parodying it, it's still a fun film to watch, and there's a funny scene where Vincent Price and Boris Koloff have this whole wizard scene that uh, is quite interesting to watch, so highly recommend for that. And last on the list, we have a film that uh, I didn't expect to put on here until later, All Dogs Go to Heaven, released in 1989. Dom DeLuise makes a return on this list, as well as the famous Burt Reynolds. Yes, Smokey and the Bandit. Now, All Dogs Go to Heaven is on this list for the fact that it deals with uh, the main character dying and going to hell and trying to save his soul to get to heaven while also affecting the ones down on earth. And mainly just the imagery of the film is what makes it interesting and also for a young kid it could be quite terrifying the imagery and how the villain of the story actually does feel like a villain. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this list, hope you have a great Halloween and Stay safe out there. I ran out of batteries. That's an inside joke. You don't get it.